Good morning, young people. Welcome to Daily Bread. Apostle Chastine Rock here. Hey, listen, I'm glad you guys are with us this week. Uh, we love bringing you a particular, I would say, uh, topic messages from the Word of God, particular subjects, things that maybe you don't just talk about every day. Uh, maybe you don't talk about these things, uh, whatever church you go to. Uh, um, and, and we all need as much as we possibly can, right? To make yourself better so that you can be better for others. You have to cover a lot of areas in life, and uh, sometimes we don't have all the time that we need to do these things. And so this is why uh, this wonderful gift in the early in the morning like this, it helps you guys. You get up in the morning, flip your Bible open, follow me for five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, and guess what? You got something to think about new all day long. So uh, we want you to know we appreciate you guys, and uh, thank you guys for giving attention to your life, for you are very important to the Lord God. All right, so this week we're going to talk about the revelation of potential. Now, this, now, this is not something that's, you know, deep, deep. Uh, this is something that's revealed in the Word of God for you to know who you are and for you to know what you're capable of doing every day, the life that you can live every day. I mean, you know, the help that you can give other people. Can you imagine, you know, just think about all the people around you that need specific things done in our life or some information or just you know it might just be a breakthrough for them you know uh, some uh, unqualified favor that we all live under but something specific for them and so uh, these particular types of messages help you to uh, be able to help someone that you know and I and I pray that you use it wisely uh, this morning I want you to go with me to uh, first John book of first John and uh, we're going to look at where all of this begins so that you'll have a, a particular definition of why or really who you are and what you're capable of doing. And then we get into the instructions of the word and those things help us every day to meet all of the giants, the bears, the lions, whatever they may be. Uh, they help us to meet these things and to come out victorious. All right. In uh, first John, <clears throat> and this is where our background scripture will come from uh, for this week. It says this, that uh, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Now, there are a lot of people that believe that Jesus was a man, a prophet, uh, you know, or a prophet less than some other prophet, or, you know, or he was a good man or whatever, okay? Uh, what you have to settle in your heart is that Jesus was the son of the living God, Okay? And that is the word of God that became or covered himself in flesh. And he walked here, he lived here, uh, and he did things here. He spoke things here. He set a pattern for us from God's heart. And you're going to have to settle that in order to understand the word of God. You're going to have to have the same spirit of the son of God in you. You can read Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, I think, 5 or 6. And uh, it talks about... Because we are now the sons of God, he has sent forth the spirit of his son to live in our hearts. This is what it's, this is what life is all about. If you don't settle that, you're not going to get into having any understanding about the potential that you have uh, to, to be raised up and not a slave to sin anymore, but the master of the world that you live in, okay? He says this, that uh, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him, that begetteth, loveth him also, that is begotten of him. So that means we love our brothers because we are begotten of him ourselves. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. And For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. For who is he that overcometh the world? but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God, all right? And this is a great question that Jesus asked his disciples. He said, who do men say that I am? And they said, oh, you're this person. Some say you're this person. And there was nothing wrong with those people that they spoke about. They were men. But Jesus is a little more than just a man, okay? He's a little more. In fact, he's a whole lot more than just a man, a mere man, okay? And so when we study the Word of God, from this particular beginning here, these first five verses, you could get a lot of revelation out of it. And this is a revelation that the Lord gave me. And he simply says here, so when we're talking about potential, we are designed by faith. And this is how we got born again. We're designed by faith. We're born of God, unto God, 
and for God. Okay, this is our lifestyle. This is what you are as a Christian. Okay, again, you're designed by faith, the faith of God. You are born of God, the Spirit of God birthed us. You're born unto God, we're in God's family, and for God. This is who we live for. This is our service <clears throat> to repel and conquer this natural world. And this is the last part that he was talking about in verse 4 when he says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, our faith. Okay, so we are born uh, to conquer and to overcome uh, this particular world that we live in. Now, when it comes down to these particular things, you have to understand the laws of power that, that, are, that exist because now we are born again. Uh, we, go, we could go to Luke chapter uh, 10 and uh, look at verse 19 where he says, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That's not the only scripture in the Bible that talks about us having uh, particular powers, okay? We can go to Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, while we're looking this morning, and these things will help settle some things in your life. We'll go to Romans chapter chapter 8 in a moment. But in Ephesians chapter 3, we uh, in, verse, in verse 20, okay? Because if you don't know this, you're not going to deal with things, okay? When you, are, uh, when you are capable of handling things in a fight, guess what? You don't mind getting in a fight because you know your potential. You know what? you're able to do, you know what's available to you, and that is the knowledge of being able to be a conqueror, to be a world overcomer. Well, as a believer, and especially, and I'm telling you, especially in these days when all kinds of things are going on, all kinds of signs, it's not just signs from God that's going on, there's signs from the enemy that's happening all around us every day. Paul told us about it. He says, the Spirit is speaking expressly that these are going to be signs of the end time. You're going to see men that are lovers of themselves and boasters and Haters and, you know, uh, don't love uh, <clears throat> mom and dad, uh, got all kind of hate, uh, you know, order. All kinds of signs are around us right now from the enemy showing us how the enemy is operating. So you need to know who you are and what you're capable of doing every day so that when you pray, you're praying in faith. When you go to that job, you go on that job in faith, okay? In Ephesians chapter 3, he says in this, uh, and he's talking about Christ. He says, verse 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may know, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. That's a powerful statement. The fullness of God. All right? And then he says this, now unto him, the one that you have the fullness of. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we act or think according to the power that work in us. That's the fullness of God. That's, he's talking about God's spirit in us, the spirit of God's son, as I said in Galatians chapter 4, uh, verse 6. Okay, And so as we speak about some of these things this week, uh, let's look for these laws of power that are available to us, and let's operate in these things so that life for you and your family and those around you uh, may uh, increase the more and more in Jesus' name. God bless you. We'll see you here tomorrow morning on Daily Bread. Amen. Have a great day.